Yeah. We got together the new Snakehead Outlaws Elite Team to chase some Snakehead together. Now the name of the game today was Finding Snakehead and what I call their Layers. In this context, the layer is really just an ambush point that has a lot of cover, especially top cover. To fish them effectively, you have to have pinpoint casting, cast deep in the cover, and work it slowly. Out here on the water today, we had some of the best sticks in Snakehead fishing anywhere in the country. So make sure you check out our new YouTube channel so you can catch their versions of today as well and see their catches along the way. But for now, let's get to the action. Here he is. Yeah. There you are. Yes. <laughs> so folks, to explain what went down there, y'all didn't see him spook because I didn't have the camera on. But what I did was I cast it in that bush, in that brush right next to the point. I was working it in. Like, I've had a lot of snakehead spook as it hits, but usually they don't spook as you're working it in, especially a little itty bitty mouse like this. But that's exactly what he did, he spooked. So then I let it sit for at least a solid minute, like literally 60 seconds. Then I started doing a dangle presentation. I had to dangle it for about like, two or three times, you know, with like five or six little rod tips each, and then she crushed it. Come on. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Open up there, little beauty. Oh, dude, she choked it. Come on now. Come on now. Dude. He is not feeling these things going in his mouth, man. <laughs> what the? Yes. There she is. Look at that. Ah, you little beauty. There you go. There you go. Just lost one. I didn't feel her a lot. So I think it's possible that she might come back. Yeah, I felt the rope. Oh. Gotcha. Come here, you. <laughs> Come here, you. It could be a day, folks. <laughs> it could really be a day. There's number two. Little guy this time. Probably about 18 inches or so. A little full old belly. Let's see if we can get you off of here. There's part of it. There we go. <laughs> there she goes. <sighs> nice. That was another dangle presentation. Deep in cover. Like I always preach to you. <laughs> Whew, gotcha. Oh, and the hook fell out. I'm not going to be able to get a picture of her on there. Here she goes. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. That's a pretty big one. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Much bigger than the other two I've caught. Get off of there. Oh, he's wrapped up all the way back there. That's going to be trouble. <laughs> That's going to be trouble. Come on. Come on. All right, gorgeous. You still there? 
Yes, you are. Yes, you most certainly are. Ah, oh, I can't get it off. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay, let me go around the other way. It's like I've told you before, I'll make those casts that I know they're high quality areas, but I know they're going to be a real chore to get out. So a lot of times they pay off, but <laughs> you know, when you finally hook the fish, you do have to figure out how to get them out. And sometimes that's a hell of a lot harder than other times. Get off of there. Yep, almost. Get off. All right, paddle. There we go. <laughs> that's a beast. That is a beast. Get off. There we are. Oh, can't do that yet. I'm all messed up. There, we got some line out. Now we're a little bit safer. All right, lip gripper time. All right, you. Come here. Yes, sir. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Gotcha. Oh! <laughs> oh, on video? Oh, that, that's a good time for video, man. <laughs> yeah, she came from back in the sticks. Was dangling it over a branch, and she crushed it. Oh, she crushed it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there you go. All right, one last look at you, beauty. Ah. Oh. I definitely need this confidence boost. Let's look at it. Folks, I, I gotta give props to the makers of this frog right here. I'll show it to you in a minute. It's made by a company called Acor. And for being such a small hollow body, which I love, I love small ones, the hooks are extremely stout and durable. I'm surprised at how good a shape the frog is still in after I just spent all that time kicking the hook out of that last fish. I'm telling you, those hooks, ooh, those hooks are strong. <laughs> those hooks are strong. Whew. Notice how long I'll let that lure sit once it lands, folks. That can be crucial in drawing the strike. Gotcha. Yeah. There we go. Let me, there you are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice fish. Man, did she smack it. All right. <laughs> I mean, they're still coming from pretty deep in cover. Right at the base of that stump, that fallen tree over there, that's where I got her. But what I call it is like they're in their layers. And they're not moving to chase a bait, not that I've seen. Yeah. It's but if you can put it on their nose. Right yeah, on their nose right where they are. Yep. Cuz I mean I mean, I don't know if you saw that hit or not. She smacked yeah. it. Right. <laughs> God, she choked this thing, man. That's the second one on the acorn now. <laughs> Gorgeous fish, bro. Here we go. Got you, dude. I knew I should have turned it on. The spot looks too good. Yeah, fight, baby, fight. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There you are. There you go. <laughs> you almost cut me. There she is. Solid specimen. Low to mid 20s, maybe 22, 23. Yes, sir. All right, now, go and get them. Good. Oh, 
hook up inside those pads. You gotta keep them up and out, or they will dig in and get off. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. <laughs> There you go. I got you now. I got you now. There you are. Oh. <laughs> Get over here. That's a nice one. Yeah, okay, I'm getting the net. There you go. Very nice. Okay. When that happens, <laughs> yes. Oh, I love the fish. <laughs> there you go, little beauty. All right, now. So long. That's a uh, 13, maybe. That's <laughs> I was waiting for that face. <laughs> it's like somebody's ever in. <laughs> I was telling Jesse <laughs> on the way down. <laughs> I was like, wait till the wait till I tell Butch how many I can't wait till you see his face. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ah. Come on. God, they are choking it, man. He's been showing me. Uh, various parts like a, as it's in construction kind of deal. Alright, you. Go on now, get. But yeah, dude, I'm so psyched about that rod, man. <laughs> so psyched. Oh, oh. Oh, you. Had to work for that one. Oh, it looks going to come right out, too. Excellent. It's not going to be a tough hooking at all. Come on out. There you go. And there she is. Little beauty. Keep going. So folks, as I close out this video, first I want to say thanks to my buddy Butch over at Real All American Fishing. He gave me a ride out here today after I had a car accident. More on that later. <laughs> but also, re-emphasizing one point right here, the bite was not fire this day. If you were fishing on the edges or fishing too quickly, you weren't getting a lot of strikes. When they're in their layers, you gotta get in there, deep in cover, and work those lures slowly. But to close things out, thanks much to our sponsors. Thanks much to the Snakehead Outlaws Elite team. It was great to meet y'all. I can't wait to do it again. Folks, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions, and have a good one.